on top of a 525 meter cliff in the Dangrek Mountains in Cambodia sits the ancient Khmer Temple of Priya Vihir. This religious sanctuary is a breathtaking site with fantastic architectural elements. In this video, I'll be overviewing the history of Priya Vihir as well as tips on visiting. Let's get into it. Entrance fee to visit Priya Vihir is $10 per person, which can be purchased at booths near the entrance. However, this is only if you're a foreigner, whereas locals can enter for free. When you arrive at the booths, the actual site sits farther up the hill, taking about two hours to reach if hiking. Personal transportation is forbidden, but there will be alternative transportation methods, such as motorcycle and truck rides available for five and $25. If you want to ride up to the top, which I suggest, otherwise it's a two hour hike, you can get a truck here and they're parked outside. You can see people loading up in those and they'll take a truck up there. They'll drop you off by the entrance and then um, you'll hike around and then they should wait for you and bring you back down. This would take about 15 minutes to reach the site. We recommend hiring a driver rather than hiking, as it's not only less work, but also an exciting experience. And uh, if you decide to go on the uh, truck, you're gonna be flying up the mountain uh, with some incredible views, but you are just absolutely flying. Alternatively, you can save some money for five bucks, a motorcycle will take you up. But with the experience that I'm having on the truck right now, I think I'd pass on the motorcycle. Um, I imagine they'd probably be going even faster, I don't know. Just to drop a couple of pointers, bring plenty of cash, wear good shoes, bring some backup clothes because you're going to get wet. Most likely if you're here during the rainy season, bring a rain jacket. Um, I'd hire a driver, it makes things easier. Priya Vihir is a Khmer temple whose name signifies the religious offering of sacred shrine. The Khmer Empire was the Hindu Buddhist empire in Southeast Asia, centered in what is now Northern Cambodia. The empire grew out of its former civilization of Chinla and lasted from 802 to 1431, known as the Angkor period, after the empire's capital, Angkor, which means temple city. Stretching out 2,600 feet, the primary temple overlooks the edge of the cliff. While different from the temples in Angkor, Priya Vihir holds the same purpose as a stylized representation of Mount Meru, the home of the gods. In modern times, this land was rediscovered by the outside world and sparked a dispute between Thailand and the newly independent Cambodia. The Dangrek Mountains, which the temple can be found in, acts as a natural border between Cambodia and Thailand. Since France was in rule over Cambodia at the time, the map of Cambodia from 1907, published by French geographers, was used. This specific map showed Priya Vihir to be in their territory. However, Thailand used the provisions of the Treaty of 1904, deeming that the temple is located in Thai territory. This led the Thai forces into occupying the temple to enforce their claim in 1954, causing both governments to voice threats of force. This conflict was further taken to the International Court of Justice in 1962, ruling that Priya Vihir and its temples lie on the Cambodian side due to how the watershed line on the Dangrek Mountains appear on the topographic map. Unfortunately, this did not end the dispute. After both sides tried to defend their maps, the Australian judge Sir Percy Spender believed that despite them, the modern day frontier line on the mountain range is a line of watershed, making it Cambodia's. Thailand was furious about this, resulting in civil war in 1970. As guerrilla warfare continued in Cambodia through the 1980s and 90s, it came to a stop in December of 1988, when soldiers surrendered to the Phnom Penh government. By the end of 1998, Cambodia opened the site for visitors and completed construction of the road up to the cliff in 2003. So Priva here is an interesting spot because it's gone back and forth under the control of uh, the Thais, and the Cambodians. You know, at one point, 
all of this area belonged to the Thais, and now it belongs to the Cambodians, and I think that's happening, gone back, forth, back and forth several times. Apparently what's going on now, at least according to our driver, the most current information is that the Thais are claiming that the land belongs to them, even though the temples belong to Cambodia. The temples here are obviously Cambodian, um, but it's a land dispute. On one side of this mountaintop is Cambodia, on the other side is Thai, Thailand. The construction of the first temple initiated in the early 9th century, dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva. Because Priyavihir has been modified by successive kings, it displays characteristics of several architectural styles. When looking at the windows, you may commonly see three to five balusters. However, those with seven are only found in Kapura III, one of the five Kapuras, or monumental entrance towers. These balusters are indicators of the building's hierarchies, as well as those who visited them. The materials used in these builds were large gray and yellow sandstone slabs, impressively overlapped in the main structure. Pieces like here in the corner that curve around the corners and fit together with these massive stones. Hopefully you guys will be able to pick this up on the camera, but um, you know, I've seen examples of this in Egypt, obviously. <laughs> it's very cool. Some of these stones are, are huge, by far not the biggest I've ever seen um, placed like this, but uh, definitely large enough to, to uh, be exciting, especially when you uh, look at how they're fitted together there in those corners. Holes can be found in many of these slabs as they were used for lifting. However, the function behind the larger holes in the ground remains uncertain. This could be a wide range of things, arguably being wooden pegs to climb during construction or used as traps during the Civil War. At the back of the site, a sandstone quarry can be found nearby. You can see where builders have scooped out specifically sized stones. If this piques your interest, make sure to check out our other videos on quarries, including those in Ghana, Aswan, and Yangshan. Have you been to the Priya Vihir temples? Comment down below your favorite parts or lingering questions about the site. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest content. Thanks for watching and stay safe.